Hi, I'm Naomi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if this isn't your first time, welcome back. And uh, today I want to talk to you about the Fibre Mood Link Party. And this is where Fibre Mood um, have a number of makers around the world. And before, about two weeks before the new magazine comes out, two or three weeks, um, makers in this group are allowed to see all the new designs and choose one and they get to make it and photograph it and have it ready for the link party. So on the day of the launch of the new, mag new magazine, the new edition, they share their makes um, on, on Instagram, on the link party site page on their website. Um, and so everyone can see a variety of different makes for each new garment. And this time, I have been lucky enough to choose a really nice dress. This is the Maya dress. Now the Maya dress is a uh, fitted bodice um, with a very interesting sleeve design. There are three different options for the sleeve. So I thought today I would share with you three different options for the sleeve, how you can create them and the different variations on how they look, um, and then show you how I completed the sleeve. I love this sleeve because it has lots of pleats um, and the different options for taking the pleat to the outside and the inside create a different sleeve. And I love this sleeve so much. I think I'll be using this sleeve in other garments because it's absolutely stunning. So one of the suggested fabrics for the dress uh, was cotton poplin, um, which I chose. And I really wanted a green, an emerald green dress this summer. So I chose a green cotton poplin from Higgs and Higgs. Um, but I also had this broader anglaise from Fabric Godmother. Um, now, originally this was actually what I thought of very, the first thing was to make the sleeve with this broader anglaise. But the sleeve in white and the dress in green seemed a little bit stark. So I decided to layer the cotton cotton poplin underneath the broader anglaise to kind of make the sleeve bigger too. Um, so I can, I'm going to show in the tutorial that follows, I'm going to show how I layered the fabric as well for that one. And I've included it here on the neckline as well with the green underneath. Um, but yeah, I love the, the, the sleeve, the shape of this sleeve and the details. You can see the pleats at the bottom and the pleats at the top and the fullness. It is a superb sleeve. Little word of warning about cotton poplin. Uh, I don't know whether it's because it's often used for quilting, but it often comes in a narrower width. So instead of 140 or thereabouts, it's often 110. So when my fabric arrived, it wasn't uh, the right width. So it was hard to fit the pieces. It did actually fit i managed just to squeeze my pieces on um and i've had a very little waist fabric which is good um but just be warned cotton poplin check the width before you buy it i've managed to do this twice in the space of a few weeks um i'm hoping this is the last time i don't check the width of my fabric now because i think i'm properly scarred so as i say i have included some footage of me creating the sleeve uh, I show how the three different sleeves will kind of look just by folding and I have shown how I've layered the fabric. If you have any questions about any other part of the dress, um, any comments, just post them below um, and I hope you find it useful. So this is what I've completed so far. We have the, let's move it this way the darts so there's four darts in the front and there's two in the back you'll see those in the photo um, to create the shaping around the waist and then I have sewn this bias tape around the neckline now this uh, should have been cut from the same fabric but I've used both I wasn't sure it was going to work it's quite tricky to cut with the broadery on glaze because the diagonal wasn't exactly diagonal so I'm pretty pleased with how it is around the collar so it's mostly that kind of green going into the holes but at the back it's not quite as matched may have a play with that but um 
yeah pretty pleased with the front so we've got the white bordery anglaise over the top of the green cotton and it's the same principle I'm going to use for the sleeves so we're going to have a look at the sleeves now I think this is the best feature of this dress anytime you cut out a sleeve and it's this size you know it's going to be a great sleeve <laughs> it's full but the lovely thing about this sleeve is that there are three options to sew it for different fullness so I have cut out the green sleeve but I've also cut some broadery anglaise and I've pinned it around so that I've got the two layers of fabric which is going to make it quite heavy but I want a really big sleeve so we've got the two layers and I'm going to use the same idea that I did with the collar which was to stitch really close to the edge all the way around to create the two layers and not have to worry about it shifting so I'm going to do that now okay okay so I've stitched all around the edges so we've got this double-sided fabric and there are three options so you can put the pleat on the inside for less volume on the outside for more volume or a combination of the two so I'll show you what it looks like to have it on the inside first so option one for less fullness I'm going to do the pleat on the inside so we have these notches here and here and I'm just going to pin it so you can see because I'm not going to sew each version I'm only going to do one version sewn but by pinning it you can see so we're going to create the pleat on the inside and it says to stitch three centimeters up on each side so could be a bit more there but do that one get the idea and then match the notches up here and so three centimeters so not that much there and then at this point you would press so this will be pressed flat like this so obviously that will be better pressed and then your pleat will be to the inside like this so to give you an idea the sleeve be in it's going to have this kind of effect where the pleat is to the inside okay something like that <laughs> i think my pleat's gone slightly skew there we go so it's going to look a bit like that option two is exactly the same but we do it on the outside so this time we fold this way match the notches again and we're gonna be sewing three centimeters down one two three back there so just pin it from there and then matching on the other end make sure they're matched up And I would suggest that if you are making it, it's a good idea to play around with pinning them and seeing which version you prefer anyway. So you can kind of see how they all look. So this one, the pleat will be then folded this way. So it's to the outside. And actually my line of, at least on this one, <laughs> my line of broad young lace, and matches up well on that side so I'm quite pleased with that so that one the sleeve will have more fullness because it will open outwards so held at the top but the fullness will be to the outside option three and this is quite clever I think so this is where we combine so just like before match the notches at the top 
that's sitting correctly. I'm doing it a bit, just a bit roughly because it's just to get an idea of what they look like. So we do, and here you would sew three centimetres down. But then we turn the other way at the bottom and we do the bottom one to the inside. So it's a combination of both versions. I love this. How clever. So you can make this dress and have different, you know, have the pattern cut out and just make different versions of the sleeve. And I think I'm gonna use this sleeve in other dresses as well because I think it's really cool. Okay, and then this is where we would have to press this one this way. That will be pressed that way, and the bottom one pressed that way, and we get this lovely combination. Now, I had thought that I was going to go for the fullest version, but I really quite like this one. I think that is really cool. Hmm, I'm not sure now which one I'm going to go for. combination or the fullest one mm. so I decided to go with the pleat on the outside and the pleat on the inside the combination version because I think it looks really interesting um, and then we have a few pleats to make around the sleeve so up here you can see there's some notches here and we're going to create a pleat here so I'm just going to get my and we're going to make it do some temporary stitches here so just make sure I've got that and then on the other side there's another one here so it's kind of closing up that little triangle shape that's at the top Pull that. quite a lot of fabric to get through uh, so we'll do a temporary stitch on those so I'm going to do a long stitch a longer stitch or just a basting stitch and then close to the edge cut and then make sure that's even there got both layers it's just making sure that get that out of the way and like a basting stitch Oops. so I've got a little bit of a tangle there but um yeah so we've got a pleat here pleat here the big box pleat in the middle and then along the bottom you can see a bit better on this side there are some more notches to make more pleats along the bottom so you can see we've got one two three four notches here and we're just going to create one and we're going to sew unlike the other one where we stitch along the edge we're actually going to sew up for these ones so again, it's the three centimetres, excuse my iron, so where's my, there we go, find the notches, I'm going to sew up three centimetres, so I'm just going to use my little gauge, so we're going to go up to about my pen, just about here, three centimetres. One thing about the faff, that is not the most responsive. Okay, and then back. Cut. Back stitch button can be a little bit slow to react. Okay, I've just realised I've done my stitches. So we've got one little pleat in there, and then the next one, kind of to the notches to meet. 
and pin across. Under, mark up to about three there, and let's go. Okay, so we have pleats along the bottom. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. So all the pleats are done. Uh, we've got our pleats at the top, and we've got the four pleats along the bottom, well, five including the centre one. So lots and lots of pleats, and now we need to add a facing to the bottom of the sleeve. Um, I'm not going to use the broader on glaze over the facing because it's going to be on the inside anyway and I just don't want to add even more bulk to the bottom of the sleeve so I'm going to add that facing on now so I've attached the um, facing sleeve facing to the bottom and I've understitched here so this will eventually when the sleeve is attached afterwards it will fold underneath like that that will go under so you can see already we're starting to see that fullness of the sleeve so this is ready to be i'm going to overlock all around and then this will be attached to the bodice of the dress if you found that useful any questions or comments just pop them below and I can respond uh, or any questions about any other part of making the dress. Uh, I've included a link below for the Fibre Mood uh, new addition uh, to the shop if you want to buy any this pattern or any of the other patterns or subscribe to the magazine. I will say with this link I get a small commission so if you are thinking about buying a pattern please click on my link that'd be great thank you um, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be adding some more videos very very soon i've got some other tutorials to share and uh, some reviews and if you think of anything that you would like me to share that you think would be useful please do send me a message but uh, until then thank you for watching bye